Yeah, Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mr. Barth. For those of you who haven't heard, this is English 11A. Listen up. I have one rule. Just one. If you don't wish to be here, don't come. Dude, what, uh, what does that mean? It's not dude. It's Mr. Barth. The S is silent. <laughs> You're fucking gay. Marcus, shut up. No, you shut up. You dyke bitch. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Yeah. Guess what? What? You're free to leave. Like right now? Like right now. Yeah, All right, yo. Yeah, I'll catch you later, man. What the fuck? Do you want me to go to the dean's office? Yeah, I don't or you care where you go. <laughs> Everyone pull out a sheet of paper. I would like to assess where your individual writing skills what are. What if we ain't got no paper? OK, here's the situation. You're dead. All right, write a brief but detailed essay about... Hey, jackass, I asked you a fucking question. About what a friend or a parent might say about you during your funeral, okay? You have 30 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I asked you a motherfucking question, didn't I? Anything else? Better back the fuck up before I fucking rock your shit. That bag, it doesn't have any feelings. It's empty. I don't have any feelings you can hurt either. Okay? I understand you're angry. I used to be very angry too, okay? I get it. You have no reason to be angry with me because I'm one of the few people that's here trying to give you an opportunity. Now, I'm gonna ask you to just sit down and do your best, and I'll give you a piece of paper. How's that? Can I get a fucking pen, too? Kids don't have any attention span. They're bored. So how are you supposed to reel them in with classic literature if they don't, if they don't believe that you have something meaningful to share. Thank you. Why'd you throw Marcus out of class, but not Jerry? Well, I had to make an example out of somebody. I mean, Marcus verbally assaulted you. That's not allowed in my classroom. You know, what they say to me is immaterial. What's your name? Meredith. Nice to meet you, Meredith. So you really don't care what the kids say to you? Perhaps I've gotten used to it. I wish I could be that strong. It doesn't take strength, Meredith. You gotta understand that, unfortunately, most people lack self-awareness. You should really keep that in mind as you head into the trenches of second period. You'll meet them again at every age. 